When you're just getting started on Amazon, money can be tight. You want to keep the money that you've got and invest it in stock for your store. You don't want to spend heaps and heaps of money on software to help you find products to sell. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really, really simple way of using Amazon to come up with long tail keywords and also, of course, as a result of that, cool products to sell. Now, if you like this kind of content where I'm helping you build your own money making business on Amazon here in Australia, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, because we post brand new content each and every day all about helping you make muchos cash cola on Amazon. And if you've got any questions, comments or feedback, comment below and I'll get to that too. All right, let's get into it. So here's another way of finding product ideas. Uh, this is kind of hidden within coming up with long tail keywords. So I use this for long tail keywords. There is software that will do this for you. So uh, Jungle Scout will do this for you. Helium 10 will do this for you. Merchant Words will do this for you. No problem at all, okay? They're all paid. I'm gonna show you a, a free way of doing it. Uh, that's kind of cool too, okay? So, let's go with doggy, just because we're in dogs earlier. Oh, look at that. Isn't that kind of interesting that my my book, new book, is, is just right there. How interesting that that's just there. Anybody wants to buy that book, for instance, you might want to just go and buy it. Leave a few radishes for me. Who knows what would happen if you did? Uh, <laughs> so, let's go, let's go dogs, because I was doing dogs. You guys have all seen this, but I, I doubt that you've really thought about it and taken it to its possible conclusion. So we all know that when you come to Amazon, Amazon's got auto suggest. So it will automatically suggest things for, for you in an effort to make you a better searcher. That's what Amazon's really trying to do. It's trying to make you a better searcher. But we can use this because what Amazon doesn't tell its customers is it actually, that hierarchy, so bed, toy, harness, collar, food, etc., etc., that's actually in order of most searched for. So that gives us a core cool piece of information right off the bat about potential ideas for Amazon. We know that dog beds sell more or get searched for more important distinction, than dog toy, okay? That's interesting. So, we know we can do that. Then we can also do, now why isn't it letting me do this? Here we go. If we do dog and then an A, we get all the things that come next related to the letter A. So, dog accessories get searched for more than dog agility. Well, dog agility, that's, an, that's something I hadn't really thought about. But dog agility equipment, well, that's a whole different niche that I'd never, ever thought to go down and have a look at. But now I am. Dog anxiety. So um, that all comes down to this concept of humans anthropomorphizing their pets. We think that our pets are a reflection of us, which is why we think we should feed our pets human food when their own intestines are developed to live on dog food, not human food. So it's that kind of thing. But you can also go down the path of doing bees, so dog beds and seas, etc. And everybody, I think, realizes they can do that too. So that's an easy way of finding longer tail search terms. Let's just try that dog anxiety. Oops. So now, can we do dog anxiety? So now I'm looking for long tail search terms. Well, dog anxiety and aggression. So do those two things go hand in hand? Do an anxious dog and an aggressive dog go hand in hand? And if they do, is anybody serving that market or talking about dogs that are anxious and aggressive? Because if they're not, that's a market niche that we can go take a look at. Dog anxiety beds for small dogs. Well, that's something I'd never ever thought of. Um, I know that in the human world, um, there was a big movement 
towards weighted blankets as a way of easing anxiety in humans. Um, what you put on your bed, and they would make you feel cuddly and wrapped up, uh, which is cool. Uh, and then the next probable thing that was interesting from that was weighted clothes that have that same effect on you. So nightgowns and things like that. That's kind of cool. And so it's no surprise that you could probably get something weighted beds or something to do with beds for dogs. That would make perfect sense to me. Dog Anxiety CBD, so that's a supplement type of product for CBD oil. I know they do really, really well. And on and on and on and on. Again, I'm just going down the rabbit hole, having a look at it, seeing what goes on. What's there? What Dog Anxiety Earmuffs. I mean, for real? Really? But who gives a flying kahuna if I think it's insanity to do that? Um, because all that matters is, what do my customers think? What do my customers think their doggy needs? Can I be the person that sells that for the dog? You know what I mean? Can I be that? Dog anxiety fluffy blanket. Well, that sounds lovely. Does that make sense? And so you take yourself down the rabbit hole. Uh, you're going to do two things. If you have already got your product and it is dog... Um, something or other, dog accessories, I don't know what it could be, and you want to find more longer tail search terms for it to use for Amazon PPC, things like that, then that's a really great way to do it. If, however, you just want to come up with product ideas you'd never ever thought of, that's also a really great way of doing that too. So you've got a kind of twofer with that, okay? Hello there, this is Neil Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs and that was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We've got two and a half thousand members and growing right here in Australia. We're actually the fastest growing e-commerce community here in Australia with sales of over $50 million. If you'd like to find out more, get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. See you next time.